All right, uh, thank goodness on this one. It did not ask us to find the measures of the angles, but we could. All we really want to do is solve for x, which is what we will do. Now hopefully we can see on this diagram that the two angles are, their relationship is supplementary. Because if we combine those two angles, they make up 180 degrees. So let us combine them and make 180 degrees. So there are the two angles. We will add them together. And they should equal 180 degrees. From here on, it's just like solving a regular equation. Some of you guys would like to play the switch and stay game because it's so fun. Others of you guys would like to combine like terms, which is what I'm going to do. And I got a 5x plus 4x, which would give me 9x's. And then I've got this uh, negative 18 plus the 45, which would be a positive 27. And that still equals the 180. We're out of count. Next, we need the x's to be alone, so we'll subtract 27 from both sides. And we get 9x equals 153. Finally, to solve for x, we would divide both sides by old niner, and we get x equals 17. Now, this is not degrees, so if you label it, it is wrong. x does not represent degrees. It only represents a value within the degrees. So x is just 17. Per oh, your request, we will be checking this one. So let us check then. So in our original equation, which we created ourselves, all right, so I replaced all the x's with 17, and then let's do the work right account. So all I did is multiply these two right account. When we combine all of these, we get 180 equals, as it turns out, 180, which is true. So now we know on a test, not that everyone would do it, but that our answer is correct.